I think that I'm sure you see this as well in that when you're pitched um, various different companies, they tend to be almost 90% of the stuff I see is a small iteration or change of an existing product. It's really not that kind of like it's been talked about before, but that order of magnitude improvement or that really truly novel idea. Mm. So things for me that I, I really get excited about tend to be like these big, bold, what at the time seemed very crazy ideas. And I'm attracted to those types of ideas and those types of founders. Like, I'll give you an example. Like last week, um, Ryan Hoover, who started Product Hunt, he yeah. said, hey, I have an entrepreneur I want you to meet. And she has created this bot called Double. Have you heard of this thing? No. Okay, so essentially, it's like a bot that you feed with information about yourself. And it's called Double. It's like your body double. Right. And then you can, someone else can come in and have a conversation with your bot. I and it's, heard about this. And it's almost like you're talking to you if I'm not around. And you can wow. ask it questions like, where do we see that movie together, blah, blah. And it, it's starting to tie all this data together. Wow. And so it's answering. And I don't, in my head, I, I thought, well, I don't see this as a product I would really fund, but it's fascinating. Like there's right. something there's something there. There's a little nugget of something that could be really cool. Creating a doppelganger of yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. Like, and, and I just want to surround myself by people like that. Like mm -hmm. founders that are having these big, bold, like um, Philip Rosedale from Second Life, yeah. crazy creative thinker. Like people like that where... They just um, they, they just spew nonsense, but it's really cool nonsense, you right. know. It, there's a fine line between that nonsense and then actually making something visionary. That's right. You know, it's the, how do you know the difference? I guess is the big question. How do you know somebody is not a just complete utter maniac BS artist yeah. or that they actually have it? You know what? Save that, and when we get back from this message. I want to talk about how you look at a founder and determine if they're investable or not. Hey everybody, let me tell you about a product I've been using for over 10 years. It's WordPress.com. Small business owners, WordPress.com is saluting you. They know you're out there making a big difference, creating jobs and creating great products and services. WordPress is the perfect solution to build your website and keep it up to date. Um, they are powering more websites with WordPress than any other platform. They've been at this for a long time. I've known Matt Mullenweg forever. He's been on this podcast, I think, three times. He's a fantastic, fantastic founder. And that's why I use WordPress on Calacanis.com and this very site, This Week in Startups.com. They provide great design features and 24-hour support seven days a week. You can pick from 350 easy-to-use themes. Just pick a domain, select a plan, and start building. It's mobile-friendly, super easy to use. Go to wordpress.com slash twist, wordpress.com slash twist, and you will be able to create your small business website today, and you'll get 15% off any new plan purchase. That's right, 15% off wordpress.com slash twist. It's a great product and a great founder and a great team over there. Uh, so go ahead and visit wordpress.com slash twist. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. Mm -hmm. 